Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Siri on your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th Gen, iPad 1, or iPad 2 running iOS 5.1.1 that should be freshly jailbroken with the Absinthe Jailbreak version 2.0 that was just released a few days ago. So with your jailbroken device, you're going to need to open Cydia and install mobile substrate as you see right there and preference loader I'll put both of those in the description everything that I mentioned in this video uh, will be in the description install mobile substrate and preference loader once you're done with that you're going to need to download the .deb file that I've provided it's a deb file it's about a hundred megabytes and that is Siri, it is named Siri.deb. Um, it is Siri itself. You are going to be manually installing it. Don't worry, it's foolproof. Um, but to install that, you will have to SSH into your phone. If you don't know what SSHing is, um, once again, YouTube SSH is what it's called. Figure that out. Come back. Um, you will need to navigate to private var root media you will not have a city folder here you'll need to make one capital C inside that folder make another folder called auto install capital A capital I and you will click and drag the Siri.deb that you downloaded right into there and it'll transfer I'm not gonna do this because I already have it um, basically what that does is when you restart your phone, it will auto-install the deb file. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but that's that. And then the only other thing you need to do is modify a plist file, which can be found in System, Library, Core Services. No, you cannot unlock 5.1 yet. That is very unfortunate. Um, system, Library, Core Services, Springboard App. And depending on what version or what sorry what device you have, your P list will be different. I have an iPhone 4, so mine is N90AP P list. I will have all the different devices and which P list you are looking for in the description. So find whatever P list you is for your device. Drag it to your desktop, which I've already done. You're going to need to open up the P list with. I use Text Wrangler. So here's the plist file. And then you're going to need to go to the link that I provided in the description to find this is the new plist file that you need. You're going to copy and paste this on top of the old plist. So just copy and paste, and there you go. Just save it, quit it, and then just drag drag it right back on and it's going to ask you to override the old file and just hit continue and it'll transfer and after that reboot your phone and you will have Spire when you reboot it's going to install that deb file which like I said is 100 megabytes so it's going to take it a minute or two to install but when it does you're going to need to go to general Hold on a minute, let it catch up. General, Siri, and make sure that Siri is turned on. Once that's on, um, you can purchase a Siri server. I will put, hold on, let me, Siri Proxy is his name, um, who gets all credit for this video. Um, I did not come up with this. This is his work. Um, but you can buy a Siri server through him. Um, this is just the Siri software on the phone. You have to set up a server of some kind. There is also a free one, which is the one that I have right here, called Siri Server, which um, is hosted through Google servers so it will never um, become overloaded, it'll never have downtime because it's through Google. Um, and if you do want that one, 
Um, the name of the server is called Assistant Server Installer. You can install that through Cydia as well. I believe it is a 99 cent paid app. Um, Assistant Server Installer. There it is. That's what you want. So install that. And once you do, it'll install the thing that I just showed you. Hold on a second. Okay. It'll install this right here, Siri Server. This is what you want. So just open Siri Server. It'll tell you, go to Spire and enter HTTP colon backslash backslash 127.0.0. Dot one colon four 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 three. So all you have to do is go to Spire and type in one. The Spire is this one right here, the actual app, and type in one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon four 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 three. And if you've done everything correctly, and you hold the home button. Siri, what time is it? She should respond. That is me. As Einstein said, time is money. Okay, well, apparently, time is money, according to Einstein. Um, but that's about it. You should be good to go. Um, if you have any questions, comment or send me a PM. And I'll try and help you, but the thing that most people don't do is, at the very beginning, install Mobile Substrate and Preference Loader. You have to do that. If you don't, the dev won't install properly, and you'll have to restore your device. So make sure you do that very crucial step. And happy 420. Have a good day.